Hello, today I would like to teach you how to connect your Motorola Moto Turbo radio into your Wi-Fi network. We are going to set up buttons for enabling Wi-Fi, for disabling Wi-Fi and for checking the status. We are going to supply the SSID and the password and we are going to make sure that our radio is connecting successfully into our local network. This is the same radio that a couple months back we were activating entitlement ID to enable the Wi-Fi option. So if you do not have Wi-Fi support purchase, I recommend you checking my video to see how to activate it. For that video, we are going to be using that small portable router. I'm not sure if you can see the screen, but we are going to be connected into that unit. You can see that we've got a one user and that one user is a, that Tavbook computer. At this point in time, we are interested in taking a look at the connected clients. So we go into the advanced wireless and online clients and as you can see on the screen we've got only one computer connected which is this Tavbook. After we successfully connect our radio we should see it here and we will be able to send a ping into the corresponding IP address. You might be asking yourself question why connect this radio into your local area network you can use Wi-Fi for sending digital data, but if you connect it to the internet, this radio can act as a wave on cloud client, the wave PTX client over TCP IP. So you are not going to be using LMR and you will be able to make a PTT calls using only internet at some point in time, I'm going to make a full video about it. First, we are going to start from connecting our radio into the computer. I'm going to be using my programming cable and we are going to use the CPS 2.0 to load the configuration. So let me plug it in. The radio is on, we can hear the jingle and we can open our CPS. I'm using 2.0. Let's load our code plug. Let's load our code plug. First, we are going to start from supplying our SSID and the credential. We go to the general tab. We go to the Wi-Fi network. We scroll down into the network profile table. In that area, you can set up multiple networks. You can, for example, have your office network, your whole network, or a portable hotspot that you can take with you on or have inside of a vehicle. So you can have a multiple configuration and you can also set how aggressive the roaming between the network is going to be. So let's start from adding new network. I'm going to provide network settings from that router. So let me add the SSID for YouTube. I'm going to leave the WPA encryption because that is going to be correct. Now we set up the password. Which is also for YouTube. Then we've got the roaming aggressiveness. This is going to be used, for example, if in each room you've got an access point, so you can select how aggressive it should be in switching between them. So 
I'm not going to have that problem, so I'm going to use the medium. Then we've got the boost transmit power. I'm not going to check it out since they are going to be pretty close. But if you've got a problem with the transmission, you can set the checkbox, but you have to be aware that it's going to be consuming more power. We've got our Wi-Fi credentials, but we need a ability to turn the Wi-Fi on and we need ability to check the Wi-Fi status. We can make Wi-Fi enable over here, but I would like to have a control and in some cases I would like to be able to turn it off. So let's go into the control buttons. Your Motorola radio have couple program able buttons. You can change their meaning according to whatever is suiting your need. It's detecting a short press and long press. So you can basically double the amount. Those three buttons can trigger uh, six different functions. If you take a look over here, I've got the side button number two, which is the one with the dot as a Wi-Fi status announcement. By short pressing the status announcement button, Lady is going to tell me whether the Wi-Fi is turned on, off, or when we are connected or disconnected. The long press of the same button is going to toggle Wi-Fi on or off. We can make that for any button. If, for example, I would like to use the top button, then I just hit the drop down icon and from list I select the Wi Fi on off or a Wi Fi status announcement. So you can totally customize it to set your need. I've got all settings exactly as I want. So the only thing we need to hit a right and send the code plug to the radio. I expect that radio is not going to connect to the Wi-Fi. So we are going to check the status and if it's going to be enabled or disabled by default. So let's take a look. We can he hear the jingle from the windows. I'm going to I'm going to disconnect our programming cable and we remember that short press is going to tell us a Wi-Fi status. So let's do that right now. Wi-Fi is off. And as you can hear, lady told us the Wi-Fi is off. Wi-Fi is off. As we remember to enable the Wi-Fi, we have to long press our second button. But first I'm going to open our browser and go to the network connected devices. So we are going to nicely see how it's connecting. We've got everything ready. I'm going to long press it. Turning on Wi-Fi. Lady give us status and I'm going to press it again. Wi-Fi is off. Wi-Fi is on, but not connected. Now it's going to try to connect. Wi-Fi is on, but not connected. It's not connected yet. Wi-Fi is on and connected. And as you can hear, the lady told us the Wi-Fi is connected. Wi-Fi is on and connected. Let's take a look at the online clients. Do we have our device? And yes, as you can see, we've got a new entry, which is IP address of our Motorola Moto Turbo radio. We can send a ping to that unit. Let me open that. I'm going to paste the IP address of our radio. And as you can see, the Motorola radio is responding with packets to our computer. And if we take a look at the my router, we should see uh, two devices connected on top. So as you can see, everything is working like it should. 
and if I'm going to turn the router off, we should drop the connection. I'm powering the router off. Let's see whether the connection was dropped. Wi-Fi is on and connected. It should be dropped. Wi-Fi is on, but not connected. And as you can see, as you can hear, Wi-Fi is on, but not connected. It's not connected. Let me power on our router. As you can see, the router is starting. And after that, it should very nicely recover. Wi-Fi is on, but not connected. We do not have... As you can see, we do not have any users. Wi-Fi is on, but not connected. It should nicely recover from that situation. Wi-Fi is on, but not connected. Give it a couple seconds. I'm pretty sure it will work. Wi-Fi is on, but not connected. Give it a couple seconds. I can see the one user has been connected. Wi-Fi is on but not connected. So that might be my tough book. Let's see. Wi-Fi is on and connected. And we can hear that we are successfully is connected. Is connected. So that was not a tough book, that was our radio. So this is how you are going to set up your Wi-Fi to use it on a Motorola Moto Turbo radio. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.